everything is awesome <laughs> hey guys sorry now rocks is here and this is a really really late review I apologize I've actually seen this movie a little earlier than what I'm doing this review right now so this review is actually really late uh, I'm getting some great lightning effect in here isn't that great look how look how well you can see me I'm barely using any light normally I have like three or so lights on two or three lights on just so I can illuminate the entire room but um it's a really beautiful day outside, really sunny, really hot. But that's not what you want to hear about. Uh, you want to hear about the Lego movie, and everything you heard about it is great. Um, like the song says, everything is awesome, which I'm just going to go on the record. I really don't care for the song, by the way. Um, okay, so let's start from the beginning. The story is about a Lego, of course, named Emmett. And Emmett is just your average, normal guy, for most part, for what Legos are. Uh, he's a construction worker, he follows the program, you know, he lives in a city that likes this, just this one song, and the song is called Everything is Awesome. Um, I have no idea what else they're saying. All I know is just the chorus. That's all I can hear while I was, in, while I was watching this movie, was just the Everything is Awesome part. I could not hear anything else. Um... Everything is awesome. Something, something, something. Everything is awesome. Uh, to be honest. I had to literally go on the internet on YouTube and look up the lyrics because I had no idea what they were saying. Okay. But, um, so Emmett is a construction worker who comes across a female Lego by the name of Wildfire. And basically, he stumbles onto this mysterious brick-like, cap-like thing that isn't a Lego, and I'm not going to reveal what it is because that will be giving away the ending. Um, and supposedly by doing this, he's the chosen one, which means he's the great builder and he has great ideas and stuff like that. And for the most part, no, he's just an average guy. He's not a great builder. He's has nothing special about him. There's even this one segment where um, they're interviewing his co-workers and they say, um, hey, do you know this guy? Do you know anything about him? And they're like, hey, I know that guy. And some people are like, does he even work with us? Like, hey, yeah, we don't, like, do we, do we even know who he is? No, some people don't know who he is, some people do. Um, they're like, I know nothing about him. He's just an average guy. He's just a guy in the black background, you know, he kind of blends in with everybody else. It's supposed to be sad. I wasn't feeling it. It kind of comes pretty early in the movie, so I was just like, okay, that I guess that is sad. It never it never made me go, oh, you know, something like that, whereas other animated movies have done it a little bit better, but that's fine. Um, so there's nothing really special about him, but turns out um, maybe there is something special about him. Um, it tends to go back and forth. It's, it, uh, it doesn't really get clear until like later on in the movie, which I thought was great, by the way. And I can't go any further without revealing anything. All I can say is, is that, guys, this movie is really good. I thought this was, I was so skeptical about seeing it. Because I actually was going to go see Godzilla, but that got canceled, so I was like, okay, let me see the Lego movie. I thought it was just going to be a big product placement. I had no intention of seeing this right away. I was just going to wait and possibly till it comes on TV, HBO, or Stars. Normally, Stars get everything first, so I was waiting till it comes on Stars, and now I was just going to be like, okay, well, I've seen it. I wasn't even going to make a review about it. This is so late, but... I guess this is this is a review about go see the movie if you can if it's you know if it's still in a theater near you go see it when it comes out on DVD and stuff too if it's if it's too late by the time I put this video up get it it is worth it okay I thought this was just gonna be a big product placement but no it is really smart it is beautifully animated beautifully voice acted which is pretty funny um I mean they got Great cameos uh, from Billy D. Williams to Shaquille O'Neal, Shannon Tatum, uh, Jonah Hill. It's 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 really great. Um, Batman, they got Lego Batman in there. Oh my God, Lego Batman's great. Uh, they got Lego Superman, Lego Green Lantern, um, Star Wars Legos making an appearance, and they do reference some of the other 
Um, how, how did it get past that? Uh, I guess, I don't think I'm revealing anything by saying this. Far as the other toys that the LEGO products own, like Bionicle and stuff like that, basically they say that, oh, all that stuff does exist, but we exist in different dimensions. But Bionicle and stuff, that's just like the other stuff. The real important stuff is the Legos and uh, stuff that you build and whatnot, which I thought was pretty funny. How they're just like, oh yeah, and everything else that, that we made, sort of like for the little kids and stuff, that's for, that's another dimension, which actually does come back in the end, which is pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, this movie is great. Full of jokes, full of great characters, um, very colorful cast. I love it. Uh, at first, I thought this was like all sort of kind of like stop motion, people just build it, but no, it's CGI and it looks magnificent. I love the way this movie looks. It is beautiful. My God. I'm to the point where I made a video about Frozen uh, when it was released and when I finally got a chance to see it. And to be honest, I think I might like this a little bit more than Frozen, although I like the singing in Frozen more. The song here... I don't really, I don't really care for it all that much when I know people was talking about it and stuff like that. I was like, oh yeah, that's, you know, that's from the Lego movie. But when I finally heard it myself, I was just like, okay. <laughs> you know, I was like, okay, so you know, that's, they have the little animated intro song, you know. They're, i seen other animated movies do that too, how even Frozen did that. And I was like, okay, that's fine. Nothing too special. I don't, I don't think the song's anything too special, to be honest. And they got the Lonely Island to be a part of that too, which is pretty interesting. I wonder how they did that. Um, and they sing, and Lonely Island sings about some interesting things. <laughs> so, uh, get, yes, get them for a kids movie. And that's the thing. This may seem like just a kids movie. It's not. This is for all ages. Okay. If you, okay, your kids are gonna love it. Your kids are really gonna love it. If. You want to take your son, your daughters, or whatever, niece, nephews, or something to see it. They are going to, they're going to freaking love it. I was about to say a bad word. They are going to love it. Okay? That's going to be great for them. For you, the adult there, you're going to love it too. Um, if you had Legos or if you built anything or stuff like that, um, this really is going to reach into your childhood or... Even as an adult, it still reaches to you. It still reaches to you in adulthood. It's actually a pretty good message in the movie. Yeah, surprisingly, the Lego Movie has a good message. It's also a satire, a little bit of the Hollywood scene about the everyday guy who turns out to be the chosen one and stuff like that. And he's like, "Well, I'm not really the chosen one." I may not have all the skills and stuff like that. Hey, you may say I'm not the one to probably lead you. And you know what? You're right. <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. God, I love it. Ah, such creativity, man. Beautiful writing. I don't know who... These jokes, they don't wear off. They don't. It, they're funny. They are way... They are so beautifully done. Uh, I made a recent video about uh, Teen Titans Go and how they sort of do this thing where it's kind of like trying to be joke after joke after joke, kind of like what the Lego movie does. And, you know, other shows have done that thing. We kind of got into this era where um, everything's kind of like joke after joke after joke, which is fine. But whereas something like Teen Titans Go di doesn't deliver, the Lego movie does. And I guess you can say it has more of a screen time or whatever or whatnot, blah, blah. But um, just, com just comparing those two. I know that's kind of out there comparing those two, but that was like the recent animated thing I've seen and um, reviewed for the most part. And to be honest, this is like a breath of fresh air. Thank God I am seeing something with effort. I am so happy. This is possibly one of the best movies of 2014. So far, for me. Um, as far as, definitely as far as animated, it is the best one of 2014. Um, so, guys... Uh, Get out there and watch it. Get out there and watch it. If you haven't seen it yet, watch it. Don't worry about it. It is worth every penny. Um, DVD. Buy it when it comes out. Normally I don't say this, uh, but I recommend it. I, I really recommend seeing this. I really like this movie. Um, not too many people I don't think won't like it. 
it's sort of like an everybody movie. It's just great. It just leaves you with a good feeling and you just want to see more. You you want to see more and I'm not going to give away the ending. The ending was a bit of a surprise, but I kind of didn't really see it coming, but I was like, where are they going to go with this? So not surprising. Or should I say I kind of suspect that something like this, but I didn't think they would actually do it. Let me put it that way. I expected something kind of like this, but I didn't think they was going to actually do it. But it's a great ending nonetheless. Go out and see the Lego movie. It is awesome. Okay, so that's a recommendation by Sarnar Roxas, you know me. Go out and see the movie. Um, I really enjoyed it, and I hope other people enjoy it too. Uh, this was a short review because I can't give away too much. I'm sorry. I just cannot. I'm not even going to do much with this. I can't show you much. Uh, even though this is a review, I just can't. It's You have to go out and see it yourself. You have to go out and see it. I can't show you much without um, giving too much away. Oh, well, this is one more thing I like to say. During the action scenes, um, there are, I think there's about really two or three big ones where everyone's fighting. And it's kind of hard to make out what's happening. And besides that, it's um, uh, it's just some business uh, people calling. Uh, besides that, it works. The movie works really well, animated and whatnot. Uh, I love it. So uh, besides some of the action scenes, which was a little hard to see, everything works out. Uh, Morgan Freeman is just fantastic, by the way. He plays the wizard. Uh. Okay, yeah, that's it before I just keep this video going on for much longer than what it needs to be. You should go out and see this movie and stop listening to me. All right, so take care. I'll see you guys in my next video.